what am I going to do with all of these green tomatoes? Hmm. I got a lot of green tomatoes. My garden is still full of green tomatoes, but thanks to my friend and subscriber, Angela, I have a new recipe called green tomato relish. So that's why I'm gonna be using up some of these green tomatoes. The rest I'm hoping will go ahead and turn red and I can can those up. Um, I'm doing a little bit, little batches at a time, but it's getting done. But today's recipe is green tomato relish and you need green tomatoes, onions, and um, peppers. Of course, vinegar, sugar, salt, mustard seed, and celery seed. So it looks like a great recipe. I've not made this before. I have a chow chow recipe, but this is something new, but I've got to do something with these green tomatoes. But thank you, Angela, for sending me this recipe. I'm really excited to try it. Angela and I go way back to my blogging days. Years back, I had a blog. I don't have that anymore, and she was following me there, and I think we live parallel lives because when we talk, we do the same things. We, I think we wore the same wedding dress 40 years ago, so um, Angela, I really want to meet you someday, um, but thank you for sticking with me and for sending me this recipe. So we're going to get started. We're going to use the food processor to chop all this up and make it a little bit easier. I'm still sleepy this morning. I've got my coffee. I haven't finished it yet, but I got a lot to do today. I've got a Boston butt that I want to get in the crock pot. I'll show you how I season that. I'll do another video on that. And I've got a bedroom I've got to paint today. So, so much to do. I can't get out in the garden because it has rained for the past four days and it's just a mess out there. So. We're going to be inside today working all day long, so let's get started on this green tomato relish, and I will leave the recipe um, in the description box below, but again, thank you, Angela. I hope I'm doing it like you do, but let's get busy chopping. Okay, the first step is to kind of quarter the tomatoes, the green tomatoes and the onions, and just cut these up in chunks before I put these in the food processor. So everything's been washed and I'm just basically quartering them and then we're gonna run them through the food processor. Now the recipe calls for coarsely grinding the tomatoes, onions, and peppers um, in your food processor. I'm not sure if I did this right or not. Mine seemed to um, really grind them up, but Anyway, it turned out good, so I'm not used to using the food processor. I usually chop everything by hand, but this did work much quicker just to put everything in the food processor a little bit at a time and then just pulse it. And that's what I did here with some tomatoes and peppers and onions. Now in those pots, um, I have colanders and they're draining down into another pot but I've layered cheesecloth. That's what the recipe calls for because this has a lot of liquid in it and you wanna drain off that liquid. So I'm just kinda of pouring, I knew it was gonna be more than one colander that I would need to use to drain off all this liquid from the tomatoes and the onions. So that's why I have two and I ended up getting another one out because I just had so much of the tomato vegetable mix so if you have a food processor, boy, this is really fast. Um, just pulse it a couple of times and you're done. Saves a lot of time with the chopping. So I did that with all of the vegetables and got them nicely chopped up and they sat in these pots to drain. So there you see my three pots that I have set up the liquid is draining off the vegetables and they need to sit here for one hour until all, most of the liquid has drained off of the vegetables quite a bit of water came off these vegetables so the next step is to get a big stainless steel pot over on the stove and just mix all of those vegetables together 
and then we're going to add in the sugar and the vinegar and the spices and the spices were um, celery seed mustard seed salt so I'll leave a link to the recipe below where you can go and, and print you off a copy of it um, it is a good recipe and then you've got to mix all of this together and get that sugar dissolved and then you're slowly bringing it to a simmering boil and then it's gonna um, simmer like that for about five minutes but you got to bring it up to that boil I just want to make sure I've got all that sugar dissolved and now you can see it's forming a liquid and then this is what it looks like after it has cooked for five minutes then we're just going to put these in the sterilized hot jars just like the other canning processes you fill the jar you debubble you wipe the rim and then you put on your lid I like the consistency of this my chow chow is a lot thicker but I like this consistency this is perfect um, for making salads um, tuna chicken hot dog chili it's it's really a very good consistency so then that's the process it's it's pretty easy so much easier than other recipes I've tried just wipe that rim off make sure there's no seeds or anything to keep the lid from um, sealing then these go back into the water bath canner and bring it back to a bowl and they process for 30 minutes isn't that pretty I love the color peppers in it the red and the orange and yellow so there's the water bath canner going I've got it boiling so I am going to set my timer for 30 minutes to process these and after they're done I let it sit with the burner off for five minutes and they all sealed and I got seven pints so I decided I needed a, some lunch I was getting really hungry so I opened up a can of tuna and I had just enough that I couldn't fit in a jar to make some tuna salad so I'm going to sprinkle that in there with the tuna I'm going to add some mayonnaise and salt and pepper and that is lunch this is a very good recipe I'm going to give it a taste test in a few minutes so that you can see but I do love a good tuna salad Let's give this a try. I'm so hungry I couldn't even wait. Green tomato relish with tuna and I made a tuna salad. Mm. Very good. It's very similar to my chow chow, but it's a lot easier to make. It has really tasty, very tangy. You could use this um, in a big, if you've got a big plate of dried beans, you could put a spoonful of that in there. You could use it for chicken salad, potato salad. Um, it's a really good relish. Of course, it would go on hot dogs. Um, and you could just eat it on the side um, on your plate. It's really tasty, got a good tang to it. So if you've got an overabundance of tomatoes like I do, I recommend you make this um, green tomato relish. So I'm going to finish up my sandwich and enjoy this. I got seven pints today, so that was good. I used up a good amount of my green tomatoes. So thank you, Angela. Hats off to you. This is delicious, and I'll be saving this recipe. Mm. I linked it below in the description box. So Y'all go check it out. Mm, really good. Alright, so as always, y'all have a very blessed day. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'll be showing you how I'm doing that Boston butt in the crock pot. It smells good.